Hey everyone, I hope you're doing good today. Today I am going to do another angel pour. I did one back in June when I poured with Lily and um, I've sold this one and I'm getting ready to ship it off and I'm going to attempt to do another one very similar to it. So we'll, sh we'll see how similar I can get it. I'm not real sure how it's going to totally turn out, but I've got a 16 by 20 canvas, so 20 inches across, 16 deep, and I've got push pins on the bottom, and I've got a white base coat that I've already put on the canvas. This white is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. This comes in a quart from Michaels. So I put it in a cup and I mix it one to one with Oatrol Easy Flow. Here's that. That is just like Floetrol. It's a European version and it's for those people that cannot get Floetrol in the United States. And I'm trying to figure out why I've got some shadows going on. Try to make this look a little better, a little brighter. I don't know if it's going to help or not. So with this um, angel, it's basically all about swiping and controlling your swipes. So I'm using all deco art paints. And when I say deco art, they're the craft bottles that, and they're Americana. They come in the two ounce bottles. The white and black you can usually get in a, an eight ounce bottle. So this is like their lamp black, which I'm not using today, but I just wanted to show you an example of their product. And so I'm using titanium white, purple rain, maybe a little bit of dioxazine purple, desert turquoise, teal mint, bluegrass green, and a mixture of some silver with a little bit of silver argent, which is a little bit paler. This is copper, penny. This one is <coughs> the brass. And then I have like a Venetian gold. And they're all mixed one to one with Oatrol Easy Flow. And then there's no water added to it because you don't need it with deco art paints. And then I add one drop of treadmill lubricant, spot on treadmill lubricant, which is 100% silicone. I add one drop to each ounce of paint mixture. And then so I take my paint mixture in my cup and then transfer it into my squeeze bottles. That way I can have a little bit more control from the squeeze bottles. So I'm, I'm going to start basically with what would be my probably my deepest color. And so I'm going to make the very tops of the angel wings pretty much. Now I don't want a lot of diocesan purple, but I'm just trying to get my basic shape at this point. I do want a good bit of purple rain. So I'm going to put it on pretty heavy. The request for this was to do um, purples and teals and some metallics in it. So next I'm going to do a little bit of the, the deeper turquoise. And a good bit more of the pale teal mint. I'll throw in a little bit of this bluegrass green. And then I'm going to add my metallics here. So let me figure out how I want to do this. This will do, uh, I'll try some copper. I'm not going to put a lot of copper. But I do want a little bit. This is the brass color. And all these bottles have been sitting pretty long term. 
so you can re well that's not the, not the gold that I thought it was let me okay we're just going to go with that color right here which is the brassy color I think I might could I might can still add a little bit of this but it's it's kind of similar in colors they have multiple colors of gold so they're all kind of similar and then I'm going to put some silver and then I'm going to swipe with white so I'm going to put a fresh line of white right where I'm going to swipe from and I'm going to actually put some down here just in case I had I had put the white on the canvas earlier and had gone and done a few things so I want to make sure I have enough wet paint on my canvas still so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, scraper here this is the one I want to use it's just a little bit wider this one is probably an inch and a half to two inches this one is a little over an inch a little bit more white right here in the central central part of it and every time you swipe then you wipe your tool off and I'm using a really really light touch Okay, and so the next thing I want to do is the, the hair of the angel. So I'm going to start it out with copper. And come about halfway down. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? So quite a good bit of copper there. And then I'm going to do this brassy color. Kind of over it. And this color has a lot of shimmer in it. They actually both do, but this one has a lot of sparkle.
Okay. And then I'm going to do her dress. But before I do that, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this upper part like I did in the other pour. So it, it gives a definitive line uh, to her wings. And I guess I will do, I'll do this one here. I think I'm going to put a little bit of this bluegrass color right beside it. Just a little bit. It's just a really pretty color. So now I'm going to take my large scraper, which is five inches or so, and I'm going to just very lightly take this color and swipe it outwards. And just put a little bit of white right along the edge. Wiping off every time. I'll go ahead and go back over that just a little bit. I want it a little softer. You need to make sure you don't have anything in your way when you're swiping that's going to keep your hand from being extended all the way. I'll redo this one here. This does not have a lot left in the bottle, so... Okay, I'm going to go back and define the edge of the wing again with white.
Okay. Now, I'm going to take my palette knife. Got some of that gold in there. Let me try to get that out. So now I'm going to <coughs> kind of define her garment, the dress, whatever she's wearing. So I'm just going to do a few little streaks. of the gold a bit of the silver a good amount of the purple rain I'll put a hint of the dioxazine purple up near the top, but I don't want a lot mixed in. Then a little bit of the turquoise color. And then the pale. Got the silver. I'm gonna put just a hint more silver in it, and just a pinch of the copper, but not a lot. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of do a rough white outline, so I'll have some white to. Pull down over the colors, and I've got a silicone brush. This is about a one-inch brush. If it's yeah, that's a one, I guess. I'm just going to softly drag Okay, I like that. I'm going to take the pale color here. Even though I didn't do this on the other angel, I want to do it on this one just a little bit. Just to give a hint of color at the bottom of the wings. I'll go back to the the scraper here.
And then up here, well, let's see. I've got a cloth here. I'm going to I'm going to soften this look. I'm even going to um, just slightly dab the color. I want it kind of random. So let's see how this turns out with the cells in it. I'm kind of dragging my bottle through the paint. I'm just trying to get a special look. <laughs> I don't like what I have so far, so I'm just continuing to play until I get it the way I like it. If I can do this with my left hand. Okay, I think I can live with that. A little ridge right there in the paint. I don't want showing up. So, like, if you want to soften an effect, you can very gently wipe your finger through it. 
you have to be very, you have to do it, you know, pretty gently. Go in one more time. And I may even come in after it's dried and add that layer of white again just to really separate the edge of the wing depending on how it dries. Okay, I'll take a toothpick and just make sure those tendrils of hair come out down kind of in a swirly. color, I'm not sure. It's not a metallic, it's just a golden color. That makes her hair feel a little bit more golden, even though it's not metallic. Okay. Then when it totally dries, 
I can even go in with a fine line metallic gold and even add more gold once it's finished drying. So I'm going to take this metallic gold and try to do a really the halo and then And I'll let that dry and I'll put a white a white ring over it. So I think that turned out pretty good. I um I had done the last one, it was live. And it was kind of crazy and hectic, but this time I was able to just kind of do and think and um, I'm going to try to narrow this one down a little bit. But I'll put a white uh, band around that and cover up some of that. But I'm pretty much overall very pleased. This is for a young lady and she had requested teals and purple. So um, that's, I switched it up from the original Angel because the one that she liked was already sold. She had seen it at my grand opening. So here is the original. There's the original. And there's the new colors. So I'm hoping she'll be happy with this. Uh, she has really super curly blonde long hair and so like I said I'll go in after this is dried and still do a little bit of accents with the metallic gold and I'll do a white ring over the gold ring there. I could, well, I could probably do it now but I may have to. This is that uh, Deco Art writer bottle. So it has like a needle tip. So it's like super thick here. Let me see if I can get it, the needle opened up a little bit more. So there's a needle within the lid that goes into the needle and that way it seals the needle from drying up. But I am, um, I really like this. So here it is more up close.
So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell in the bottom right corner and that will mean you get notifications when I post new videos. I appreciate you being uh, supportive and following me and I hope to bring you lots more creative and beautiful inspiring paintings that you want to try out or you know purchase or whatever so I think this turned out really pretty I like the color combination a lot so I hope you'll have a great day I'll see you next time thank you bye bye